Okay, hello all, I'm back. Second video of the day. Now, I forgot I had this vegan chili paste. That's what I put a little, that little spoon. I washed it off and see, it still has some of the chili paste. I put three daubs. So it's little, like this is like a, it's the size of a baby spoon because it's a an iced tea spoon. So it's really long for your iced tea glass to mix it. So I had to throw some out. I have to order more because they got yucky. Um, if you could see my kitchen right now, holy moly. But I want to talk about some of my pet peeves. Now, one is, okay. People that do like, uh, I, the road I go to work, the main drag for most of my trip, good 10 to 15 minutes of my trip, because my trip is only like 18 minutes to 20 minutes. So it's anywhere from like 10 to 15 minutes, probably around 13, to be honest, if you want to get technical. Okay. It is... 40 it's 50 you go cross route 9 it drops to 45 fine and almost to the end it drops to 40 well there are people that do like no lie the other day when it was like 50 they were doing like 25 then drop down to like 20 because i was behind this person then 15. I was like, I, I, I'm not going over 15 miles an hour. Are you freaking kidding me? So, sorry, I'm getting, because I see that I dropped something, so I'm wiping it up. Ugh. I'm gonna have to clean up this mess before I go to bed. I have to pack still too. Mm, fun. So I'm like, get off the freaking road, move over, don't drive. During commuter time, if you're only going to do anywhere from 25 and a 50, 20 and a 40, and 15, no, 45, and 20 and a 45, and then 15 in a 40. Like, seriously, I, I really don't get people. I really don't. Another pet peeve, people that don't clean up their dog shit. Oh my God. I walk around here and I'm like, dog shit, dog shit, dog. And I'm the one, like, I mean, not around my house, obviously, around my apartment, but in my community. And I'm walking some nights the whole seven miles. So I go down all the way to the end a mile. Then I turn, I go in and out of the streets, and then there's one big loop, and then I go in and out of the streets again. How many times do I see dog shit? And there is a person that's on one of the corners of the street that I go in and out of, and it, well, this is how I do it. I go, if I go, I go down one side of the street, up the other side, then I go, you know, I go that way, and I go down the one side, up the other side, down the one side, up the other side, and then do the loop, come back, up that way, down that way. So, and there's a house on the corner, the second loop, not loop, the second up and down. And it says um, something about not letting your dog poop on their lawn. Please don't let your dog um, go on my lawn. And it has a dog like, you know, about to shit and uh, X, throw it. Um, I wish I knew where, oh, here it is. This one, I, I'm looking for, sorry. So yeah, that's a big pet peeve of mine. Big, big, big. I'm going to kill myself over here. Um, I don't know where my other, Mitt is. 
because my kitchen is a disaster. Um, 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 don't know. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Oh, but I need it. I really, I'm going to have to use a towel. Oh, is it over here? Oh, it's my silicone one too that I love, but I'm sure it's somewhere. Did I get that? Oh, you know what? I have this one. I usually, all year round, believe Santa Paws. My nephew and his wife gave it to me one year. I have two of them. I actually think I might have put it in to get washed because I might have did a spillage. So the, the only thing about these is you see, they're like, it's short. So I'm gonna make sure I don't like burn myself. So my fat, but see, this is my arm. So I've been doing these exercises each night. I'll show you real quick. I go like this hundred times. Then I go like this, 50, because this is really 50 each arm. Then I go 100, and then, oh, boxing. I usually, to be honest, only do can only do 50 of those at a time. And then I do it again. And I do five sets. So I'm hoping, I know, just what you want to see, my jiggly arms. But I have to get this out, the tofu. Ooh, the one is done. The other one, no. So, oh, see. Um. But, oh yes, this tofu. Oh, piece I didn't crumble. So, now, uh, so another pet peeve, clean up your dog shit. Um, your own yard, I don't give a crap what you do. So, uh, no. I am going to use my scooper to, oh, there goes the water on my stove. Okay, not touching it again. My thumb is feeling better, thank God. Um, so, I am, oh, wait a second here. Um, oh, God. Ugh. Lord, uh, but yes, so I am, I know just what you want to say, right? So I have to scoop the, this, it's got a little, like, I like a little heat, not a lot of heat. And um, I'm going to actually text my brother and say, how early is too early to come to you? Not now, but in a little bit. Well, you know what? No, I can do it from here, I think. Oh my God. Because I can't talk text, but oh my God, all these. This is, yep, Brian and Diane. Um, how early would, sorry, would be to early to 
to come. Okay. So hopefully they get it and answer me why I'm talking to you guys, but they're not very good about answering. Just saying. So I am, ah, this is cooled off now. So that's another puppy of your dog shit. So another thing for me is um, people in a shopping plaza that I get it. Some shopping plazas, you know, there's just enough room, but there's people that park, you know, these, these are the lines. Okay. Both lines, solid lines. They're parked. This, this, their car is over like the line is under their car. So they're over here and over here. They're taking up two spots. Pisses me off. Because the reason... Oh, might as well just turn me. Oh, you don't want to see my disaster over there. Um, I'm trying to count and talk to you people. Oh, this looks so... It smells yummy. Oh. So, I'm trying to mix in the tofu, and because it's got to go in the oven, I'm trying to get some liquid. So, I'm doing one heavy scoop, like really hearty scoop, and then one liquid scoop. So, and mixing it up. But, so that really pisses me off. Like, and you don't want your car scratched, dinged, whatever. Don't buy the fucking expensive car. Um, or park far and out. Like, these are the people that park so fucking close. And they take up two spots. Or they really just don't know how to park. I've seen, I've seen a woman. That's what made me think of it. She's backing into the spot and well, again, lines and she's over here. So she's not quite, you know, her, say this is her tire and this is the line. She should be on this within over here. Her tire is on this side of the line. So no one can park next to her. So is it? Because of the fact that she doesn't want her car ding. No, I think it's she just doesn't know how to fucking drive. Doesn't know how to park. So, and it really gets me. Really does. So, oh, oh this smells so yummy. I'm trying to mix it up good. But I think one more hearty scoop. One more. Mm -hmm. Mix it up. Now I got to put it back in the oven. Scary. You know what? I know what I'm going to do. I am going to put it in the oven on top of my pizza pan. My pizza stone. Pizza pan. Pizza stone. Don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. Um, fudge. So, yeah, that's a big fucking pet peeve. Door open. I know. Mm. Oh. Now, this has to come out. And this is... Oh. It is a lot of work, I have to say, but worth it. Oh my God. Uh, you see all my magnets and shit? I actually, oh my God. I, 
I never took off the, the plastic tag. Now I'm going to because I'm really freaking pissed off because my bracelet is caught on it. So, um, yeah, sorry. Because this was longer to hang it on something, like this was longer. This little hooky thing was longer to hook than this little tiny thing. But I put, put it in the drawer now anyway, so I don't care. So, yes. So, that is a pet peeve of mine. Learn how to fucking drive. Or, you know, if you don't want your precious car, you know, to put another little on the one tofu. This is plant-based vegan chili paste. So, like I said, little itty bitty on this one tofu. I don't know. I always feel like it's not spicy enough. And I always feel like you can, um, the habanero sauce is, I turned it upside down to get, probably spit more than what came out of this. But I don't, know. I don't like to waste. Can you tell? So um, I love this. I love it. Love it. Love it. Like I said, this is. A lot of work, but to me, worth it. So, um, I hope everybody likes it in the Poconos. I'm, I'm going to bring both containers. Well, I think I'm going to put it... See, I have these two small containers, but... Ah! I have one Giganto container. So, I'm going to do this. So, that's another pet peeve of mine. Another thing, like, us big girls, big boob girls, I, I don't get these bra companies. Like, Lane Bryant, love the bra. Like, it's, it has this thing on it. But it's, oh, it's it's sagging today. I, I You know what it is? Oh, that's the thing. I love it. I, pu I pull this up. But I want thicker straps. This bra, thicker straps. And especially in the summertime, boob sweat. You know what I do when I'm walking or I walk on the treadmill? I take a Kleenex and I stuff it down in between the girls because they're sweating. And then the under boob, like I know they have that Lemmy or Lenny or whatever the frig it is, but it's so expensive. I do regular deodorant under my boobs in the morning, but uh, I just, I don't know. I just feel like they need to design a better bra for the bigger girls. Because, like I said, and like this is a, no underwire. And when it's, when I have the straps pulled up, it's like this. And I'm fine. But I, I just, I don't know. I, I just feel like it should be thicker straps. Because look, it's digging in. So, which is annoying. And they say, you know, shaper mint. Yes, that's good. But you wear it once. First of all, it goes across. So it's like this, like you have a uniboob. So it's good for working out. Don't get me wrong. But. After you wear it once, and I'll be honest, I wear my bras like two or three times. Lately, no, once. One and done because of the summer 
and the sweating and the boobs and so I do do the shaper mint ones for um, working out and then they get so I'm like constantly doing laundry which I have to finish yesterday's laundry um, oh my god I don't think this big pot I think it's too much and I have to pull out the other one and do that. So, yes. So that is a pet peeve of mine. So create, like, consult big girls. Like, I mean, I had, I probably had triple Ds before I was pregnant because I was wearing the wrong ones or double Ds at least before I had kids, but I don't know. It's like, he, I'm debating because those plastic tops, if I have a, oh, I did get something from Amazon. If I can get each one in a box and I'll bring those containers because I plan on bringing some home. Um, this one is very, very full. The other one that has, is on my pizza stone. Um, the, uh, um, I did do the one time some Parmesan, but I can't do that. My nephew's girlfriend cannot have dairy. I did do some Parmesan. 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 So this is kind of really full. Oh, this is why I like the really, um, if I drop this people, you'll be my witness to my fucking cursing. You think I was cursing when I did my thumb? Watch out. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. You know, we are talking dollar store pan so they're I know I got the freaking door open oh my god I gotta pull the I feel, oh you know what I think I'm lying it's not in the laundry I think it is um I don't, I, I think I'm going to have to put some of this, which is fine. I can put it during the week over rice for myself. Um, put it in a small container. Yeah, that's enough because uh, this is going to be perfect amount for me. I'll show you. Um, uh, my oven, the shelves very tight very tight now i'm going to get a container one of them that my friend brought back for me and he actually said i kept the one container of yours and he said because ah perfect give me a cheap container back because he said he really liked it. And it's, I have ones under there. Duh. But I am really, if it doesn't, these both don't go. Oh, I didn't wash this too well. Uh, I gave him a bunch of food. And um, when he had his open heart surgery and after when he could finally eat and I, I did make them healthy things, but I made them, oh yeah, I want to say chicken and I did give him some um, turkey chili. I gave him some of the tofu turkey chili. See, this doesn't have any tofu in it. So that's well, fine. It's, um, I can throw tofu in it. Oh my God. Oh, it's after 11 because I have to take this pan and I actually have to um, wash it for the rice. Oh, I have that other pan. Uh, no, I'm gonna wash it for the rice. 
because I'm gonna need some of my, oh, I can use those for the rice. I'm really not doing the pasta salad. The rice is the long grain rice. I don't do quick rice. Um, my nephew was like, my parents never had long grain rice. And I'm like, nope. My sister, I'm sorry, I'm blocking you. But I need to get this out. So, perfect size. Ah! And the long grain rice. Because my dog needs some rice too. So, I have to put her chicken on. I'm going to bring this with me. Uh, I'm not filling it. And I have a bag to put. Oh, the lid's backwards. My friend actually gave me this. And it says it's microwave safe. But I don't think I really have to do this. I, I bought tuna. Um... But I don't think I'm bringing with me if I'm not making the pasta salad. I'm, now I'm debating. The pasta will boil. It's got to cool. I don't know. I, I'm wondering if I told my brother. No. Message failed to send. Okay, that looks too early. Um, um, any hikes planned? Da, 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 da. But nope. So, so those are my pet peeves. This see perfect size, and I'll have it for this week. But I am not going to turn away. I'm really thinking I'm doing the pasta salad. I know I'm freaking crazy. I want to leave here at eight because um, I'm not gonna use that for the pasta salad. I do have for the rice, see this is a really huge pot, so it would be perfect. That pasta salad though is, it's a little container. I know, I do too much. I don't remember what I said to my brother. I'm uh, I'm rinsing the pot, and you know me, I'm going to. I'm going to feel bad about the pasta. This is, I think, too big for the pasta salad. I think this might be for the rice, because I'm going to cook the rice. I'm going to cook, like, a lot of rice, and this is getting hot, so... So, other pet peeves of mine. Oh, <sighs> age of internet. And I get it. You wanna, you're looking at something. Maybe you're in the store. It happened to me tonight at Walgreens. Woman was just stopped dead in front of me. Like she was like a person or two, say length in front of me, but she just stops dead. And then I'm like, I'm like, excuse me. And this is her. In the middle of the aisle, not a very wide aisle in Walgreens. And I'm like, are you motherfucking kidding me? I'm like, seriously, what is she doing? <sighs> I was so mad. So freaking goddamn mad. I'm like, excuse me. Excuse me. And I kind of went, excuse me. And she still, nothing, nothing. And, oh, my other thing I was annoyed about, I, I made Costco, and I thought, I said to the girl, I'm really sorry, I know you're closing in like 20 minutes, but it was like 8.09, they close at 8.30, so I know you're closing in like 20 minutes, but I just need to get like two cases of water. I said, do you know where they are? And she's like, back right corner. I go back there, no Costco, no Kirkland water. So, for three something. So, $6.00 is the i'm gonna let this soak a minute because i really think i'm doing the rice there so i think i'm gonna get going with the pasta in the bigger in the second 
down pot. Yeah. You know me. Because I bought the tuna to put in the salad, the pasta salad. I know, not the best. But, and they're going on a hike. They're doing this. So, this is the pot. And don't mind it. It's all yucky scratched up. I do have to... Where is the rice? See? This is two pounds of rice. Omega rice. Brown rice. Love it. And... It is dun, 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 $1.25. And I was giving my dog white rice. It says natural long grain rice. I was giving my dog white rice, but my friend's like, no, 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 no. So I'm probably going to cook all. So one and a half a cups of water, two one cup of rice. So, I have this thing, and this is not cups here, this is cups. So, it is one, two, three, three, four cups of rice. So, I usually store the rice in here, but what I'm going to do is cut this open, and I should have used my little slicer. Oh my God, I don't want this to, to really go everywhere. Because then I'd be really pissed off. We wouldn't be having rice. So I'm going to see, because well, it should say how many servings. A quarter of a cup, 30, I really need my glasses, people. 20 servings. I really need to get new glasses. 20 servings at a quarter. So that's four into 20. Ten. Right? Am I doing this right? 10? No. That's four. And look at this. Oh. Like, what is wrong with this? Nice. Like long grain rice. Hope there's no buggies in it. So that's four cups. A quarter. Oh wait. Four into twenty is oh my god. Uh, four into twenty. I, I, I'm like losing my mind, people. Oh my God, 33 minutes again. Another long one. So, this is four cups. So, you know what I just do? A, a cup and a half. A cup and a half. A cup and a half. Each time, four times. So, this is four. But four... Like, I, I really have to figure this out. Four into 20 is, so there's 20 servings. So there's only five cups. I got it. Five cups of rice. So this is another cup. So, but I'm, I'm only going to do four. I will hold this. So, all right. But I'm going to do hot water. But, so those are my pet peeves. People, oh my God, my brother-in-law. Closing his rings. I don't fucking care. Um, so, it's... Um... People that don't clean up their dog shit. People that don't park in the right parking spot. People that do like half the speed limit. Listen, if you're doing like 45 in the 50, even be you go between 40 and 45 in the 50, I'm good with that. When it gets down to 45, if you're doing like 40 little under 40, 40, 
you know, you know, 37 miles an hour to like 40, I'm fine. Even 35, I guess, I'll give you. Still 10 miles under, but I'd be annoyed, but okay. And then when it drops to 40, you're doing like 30, 35. I'm fine. I'm fucking not fine with doing half the speed limit. So, less than half. He was doing 15 in, in the 40. Oh, yeah, yeah. It wasn't even like it was a truck or whatever. It was a regular car. And we got to figure out this, you know. I, oh, I said I'm going to. I need to, because in my walking, again, something that has like a mesh thing so that you really can't see it but you kind of like nose plug things that go up so the bugs don't go up your nose. And that's gonna annoy me in the Poconos this weekend. I can tell you that right now. But, all right, I'm going to end this. Um, finished the chili with you. My chili's in the oven. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in there for a good 40 minutes. I figure we're gonna heat it up in the Poconos, so. That's why I think I, it's going to stay in those those pans. I'm going to put foil, ton of foil over it. And I'm going to empty these boxes. And I think both of them are perfect. And I'll put maybe the cans. I bought baked beans. Maybe put the beans around it so it doesn't shift. I'll put it in the... There's a little spillage. I won't be too bad. Yeah, I'm going to put those plastic covers on. Like put the foil... Plastic covers, foil. Mm. 25 feet of foil, you think I got enough? I don't know. I don't know why I'm putting it away because I don't like to leave things out. I have enough of a mess. So, oh my God, my tape won't go down. This is, ugh, there we go. All right, so I don't know if I'll be making any videos in the Poconos, but Probably on the way home from the Poconos. Let you know how I made out and how many miles I walked. All right. Have a great weekend, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.